friends in today's class we are going to learn direct speech and indirect speech so here speech means a conversation between two persons so before going to know the examples let me tell you the definition of direct speech direct speech definition is the words which are spoken by somebody are presented to somebody else as it is without any change is called as direct speech for example ragu said i am busy now this is the example of direct speech next now i am going to tell you the definition of indirect speech the words which are spoken by somebody are told to somebody else with small change is called as indirect speech for example ragu said that he was busy then so friends once again i am going to tell you topic name is direct speech and indirect speech indirect speech is also called as a reported speech it is very very important topic for almost all competitive exams so direct speech means once again i am going to tell you the definition of direct speech it's very easy for example you have received some information from someone else you are going to pass that information to somebody so whatever the words you have got from the first person while you are going to pass that information to the third person if you don't any if you don't change any word if you pass the information as it is that is called as direct speech indirect speech means you got some information from someone you, you have decided to give that information to somebody else if you put some changes in that uh, received information while you are leaving that information while you are going to give that information to somebody else if you put some changes that is called as indirect speech i am going to give you one nice and natural example to make you understand well the definitions of direct speech and indirect speech for example your neighbor is pawan kalyan okay so today in the evening there is a function at your home so your dad has asked you to invite pawan kalyan so you went to pawan kalyan's home and uh, you invited him that uh, mr pawan kalyan uh, can you please come to our home to attend a function today in the evening like that you invited him he said so i am very busy now like that he said so you came to your home again your dad has asked you what did pawan kalyan tell you then you should give the information so in front of you what pawan kalyan has told you he told you that i am busy now so this is the sentence which was given by pawan kalyan if that sentence if the sentence which has been given by pawan kalyan if you tell your if you tell to your dad as it is that is called direct speech but you have to change that dad pawan kalyan told me that he was busy then so like that you should change the information if you don't change whatever the sentence has been given by pawan kalyan to you if you don't change it if you uh, pass that information as it is to your father that is called a direct speech if you put some changes in that information after changing some words okay after adding some other information if you give that information to your father that is called as indirect speech one more example uh, next week you are going to celebrate your birthday so your mother told you my dear son for your birthday function invite your master go and invite your master you said you said yes okay mommy i will invite my master so you called your master uh, master uh, i request you to attend my birthday function next week next week so he said i will come i will surely attend your birthday function so these are the words of your master okay i will attend your birthday function next week so again you are going to talk to your mother your mother will ask you now okay what has your master told you uh, then mommy my master has told me that he would come or he would attend the function the following week 
like this you should change the words if you tell as it is whatever the words you have received from your master if you tell the all the words as it is that is called a direct speech if you change some words after getting that information you should change the information after changing the words if you pass the information that is called as indirect speech now let's learn how to change a direct speech sentence into indirect speech every direct speech sentence contains two verbs every in every direct speech sentence there will be two parts in two parts there will be two verbs first verb is first part verb is called reporting verb second part verb is called reported verb friends listen to me once again now i am going to tell you how to change a direct speech sentence into indirect speech in every direct speech sentence there will be two parts okay so first part second part or ing part ed part in every direct speech sentence there will be two verbs reporting verb reported verb reporting verb will be before comma reported verb will be in inverted commas so the first verb is called reporting verb the second verb is called reported verb so if you want to change a direct speech into indirect speech you should know some rules and regulations there will be some changes in words there will be so many changes in words for example in direct speech if you use this in indirect speech you should use that for example these it becomes those today that today now then ago before so like that today that day tonight that night this year next year yesterday the previous day last week the previous week last month the previous month last year the previous year for example tomorrow that becomes the following day next week that becomes the following week next month that becomes the following week next sunday or monday that becomes the following monday or sunday okay next month or next year next year means the following year so friends like this whenever you see the words this it becomes that so in in the in, di, in the direct speech this is there that becomes that this becomes those today becomes that day tonight becomes that night so like that you should change the words you should learn this this table is is important the table uh, which is uh, <coughs> being given here is very very important you should know how to change the words let's see the table which can help you how to change a direct speech into indirect speech see friends if you want to change direct speech sentences easily into indirect speech you should have good command over the tenses so if you know tenses very well you can easily change all the direct speech sentences into indirect speech so before going to change a direct speech into indirect speech you should also know one more important thing what i have told you in every direct speech sentence there will be two parts first part second part or first part is called ing part second part is called e ed part up to comma that part is called first part the sentence which has been written in inverted commas that part is called second part so in the first part one verb is there no that is called reporting verb so while you are going to change a direct speech sentence into indirect speech whether that uh, re, uh, reporting verb is in the present tense or past tense whatever the reporting verb is there in the direct speech especially in the first part if that reporting verb is in the past tense then only you should change the tense if the reporting verb is in the present tense you should not change the tense so friends listen to me it is very very important to topic most of the students get confused but you should not get confused like that see for example you are going to change a sentence i am going to tell you one example she said i sing songs this is one example she said comma i sing songs it is the example of direct speech now i am going to tell you how to change this example into indirect speech ah uh, she said two words are there in the first part she said this is called one part this is called first part second part i sing songs see friends 
Now, in the examination, you also must know how to remember whether it is a direct speech or indirect speech because sometimes they will give you one sentence and they ask you change the speech. They don't ask you change into indirect speech. They may give direct speech or they may give indirect speech also. So that's what you must know how to find out whether the sentence is in direct speech or indirect speech. Now I am going to give you some hits how to find out a sentence is in direct speech. See friends, after the first part if there is any comma and if the second part is in inverted commas that sentence is called direct speech. Punctuations are very very important in this topic. So you can easily find out a direct speech sentence. In indirect speech sentence we should not use commas, semicolons or up, up, uh, inverted commas and all. Only in direct speech uh, there will be two parts. After first part comma will be there. After the second part there won't be any full stop at all. The second part should be written in inverted commas. Here is a here is one example. She said I sing songs. Now we are going to change this example into indirect speech. So friends once again I am going to tell you whenever you are going to change a direct speech sentence into indirect speech first you should observe you should observe the first part. Here what is the first part here? She said uh, she is the subject here said it is the verb. In this sentence two verbs are there sing sing is also verb said is also verb. So two verbs are there I have told you, you know in every in every direct speech sentence there will be two parts first part second part or first part is called ing part second part is called ed part. So this is called reporting verb that is called reported verb. So said is called reporting verb sing is called reported verb. So friends before going to change this direct speech into indirect speech you should observe whether the reporting verb is in the present tense or past tense. So said it is in the past for example says it is in the present tense. Friends whenever the reporting verb is in the past tense only the tense should be changed. Here in this example she said the reporting verb is in the past tense so we should change the tense uh, right. So now I am going to tell you how to change this direct speech sentence into indirect speech. So what is the first word of the direct speech? She. So while you are going to change this sentence into indirect speech the first word that is she that should be written as it is. So friends listen to me while you are going to change a direct speech into indirect speech the first word whatever the subject uh, is given either she or they are he Raju Rani Kiran Kishore Pravin Prakash uh, that subject should be written as it is. So she should be written as it is fine. What next said said becomes a said only. Sometimes they may give told, even told also should be written as it is. She said, sometimes they may give, she told. If they give told also, that word also should be written as it is. Some other times they may give like this, said to, that becomes told. So friends, now, just now you have seen change, changes in words. This becomes that, those, uh, these becomes those, today becomes that day, yesterday becomes the previous day, tomorrow becomes the following day. Like that there will be some changes in reporting verbs also. In the direct speech the first part in the first part uh, in the first part there will be one verb now that verb is called reporting verb. In reporting verb also there should be some changes. So said for example in the examination in the question in the first part of the direct speech they have given said. Whenever they give said that word should be written as it is in the indirect speech. If they give told that word also should be written as it is. Sometimes they may give in that first part said to. Whenever this word is given the word said to that should be changed into told. Said to becomes told. So three words will be given. When the reporting verb is in the past tense sometimes said, some, some other times told, some other times said to. If they give said it should be written as it is. If they give told that is also should be written as it is. If they give said to that should be changed into told. Now you tell me friends, now I am going to tell you the reporting verbs of uh, direct speech. Uh, now you change into indirect speech said. This is direct speech reporting verb. Uh, what should be written in the 
indirect speech said only good for example told this one also should be written as it is then said to sometimes they may give said to also that becomes told so said becomes said told becomes told said to becomes told here let's see the second part of this direct speech i sing songs i sing songs see this sentence has been written in inverted commas so friends in every direct speech sentence after the first part the second part uh, is in inverted commas now before going to change the second part into indirect speech you should observe which tense it is so friends immediately you should not uh, try to change this direct speech into indirect speech before going to change the second part of the direct speech into indirect speech you should observe which tense it is in the in inverted commas there is one sentence no that is i sing songs you should find out which tense it is come on tell me friends which tense it is i sing songs i is one subject sing is verb first form i sing songs is it simple present tense or not yes you are right it is simple present tense mm. then in which tense we should change it we should not write as it is we should change the tense friends in in the direct speech if they give sentences from simple present tense we should change into simple past please remember we should change the tenses also we should change the words if they give now we should write then if they give this we should write that if they give today we should write that day if they give yesterday we should write the previous day if they give tomorrow we should write the following day like that changes must be there in direct speech and indirect speech so how many types of changes are there friends you see in the examination you have seen one question in that question there should be three changes please remember change number one in reporting verb first the first change is in the reporting verb sometimes they give said some other times they give told some other times they may give said to so this is called reporting verb there should be a change in reporting verbs i have already told you said becomes said told becomes told said to becomes told this is the change in reporting verbs next where is the second change in the words in in the, in the direct speech they will give some words adverbs now this like that some words will be given even those words also should be changed such words should not be written as it is in the indirect speech next the last change the third change is tense there is a change in tense friends while you are going to change a direct speech sentence into indirect speech in that inverted commas one sentence is there no you should find out from which tense it is what is the tense of this sentence you should know the name of the tense come on which tense it is i sing songs subject plus v1 plus extra words are there okay this is simple present tense whenever you find out a simple present tense in inverted commas that should be changed into simple past come on let's change this direct speech into indirect speech she said she should be written as it is in in indirect speech said that is also should be written as it is ah uh, next she said after she said comma is there so friends in indirect speech we should delete that comma we should not use comma in the place of comma we should use one conjunction that is that friends in the direct speech sentence after first part one comma is there no in indirect speech while we are going to change this sentence into indirect speech we should not write this comma as it is comma should be changed in the place of comma we should use one conjunction that is that so in the place of comma what should we use friends that okay she said okay she said in the place of comma the conjunction is that okay first part has been changed okay let's see the second part i sing songs it should be changed into indirect speech friends shall we see another example that is the second example they said we watch movies this is the example friends tell me is it direct speech sentence or indirect speech sentence sir what is that are we looking like innocent children in that uh, slide it is clear uh, clearly appearing that it is written in the direct speech box we can easily know that this sentence is from direct speech okay 
So in this table uh, headings are there direct speech and indirect speech but how to find out in the examination just now I have already told you friends. So you must learn that how to remember I am sorry how to find out whether the sentence is in direct speech or indirect speech. It is important because in the examination they do not always ask change into indirect speech just they will give you one sentence change the speech like this they will ask you what will you do then. So that is what you, you must know how to find out a sentence is in direct speech or indirect speech. So once again I am going to explain how to find out a sentence whether it is direct speech or indirect speech. So what is the direct speech here? They said we watch movies come on try to change into indirect speech do not see the answer without seeing the answer try to change this direct speech into indirect speech. Uh, in the first part what is there they said so what I have told you friends in the direct speech in the direct speech sentence the first word whatever it is given they are he or she that should be the first word should be written as it is they what is the first word of this direct speech they they should be written as it is okay they after they what is there said even said also should be written as it is. So whenever they give said also that should be written as it is if they give told also that is also should be written as it is if they give said to that should be changed said to becomes a told here they gave said okay said should be written as it is. So first part is they said in indirect speech also they said uh, what is there after they said after the first part what is there comma is there. So in the second uh, in indirect speech you should not use that comma in the place of comma you should use one conjunction that is that now you should add two parts with a conjunction. What is the definition of conjunction in parts of speech you will learn the definition of conjunction conjunction means it is a word which joins one word with another word or one sentence with another sentence. So here in, in indirect speech we are going to add these two parts with one conjunction that is that okay. First part has been changed successfully that is great come let us see how to change the second part into indirect speech okay. We watch movies friends what I told you before going to change the second part of the direct speech sentence into indirect speech you should know the tense name which tense it is. We watch movies which tense simple present tense or simple past simple past yes no it is simple present tense how can we say that it is simple present tense after the subject v1 is there v1 means the first form of the verb is there watch. So we watch movies it is simple present tense so simple present tense should be changed into simple past. So friends tenses should not be written as it is in the examination in the direct speech if they give sentence from simple present tense that should be changed into simple past if they give a question from present continuous that should be changed into past continuous if they give a question from present perfect tense that should be changed into past perfect tense if they give a question from present perfect continuous that should be changed into past perfect continuous so tense tense must be changed when shouldn't we change the tense when the reporting verb is in the present tense then only we should not change. So here the answer is we watch movies no answer is uh, they they watched movies you may get a doubt sir why should we change this we how did this we become they see friends while you are going to change this uh, direct speech into indirect speech you have to visualize something is going on somewhere. If you can visualize only you can get the right answer you should visualize something is going on somewhere. For example they they means here your neighbors they told you okay we watch movies now you are going to give that information to me now I am asking you dear friends tell me okay once again I am going to repeat this second example they said we watch movies so now we are going to change it into indirect speech so they said in the place of comma we should use that they said that. So in, in inverted commas what is there we watch movies we becomes they. You may ask sir why should we change why should this we uh, become they because uh, what I have told you while you are going to write answers uh, in this topic you should visualize something is going on somewhere just here they means for example your neighbors your neighbors told you we watch movies okay 
now you are going to give that information to me. So, while you are giving that information uh, here, how can you use the same words? In front of you, they say that we watch movies. After coming here, you should say that, sir, they watch movies. They watch movies. See, like that, we becomes they. So, they watched movies. Uh, again, your doubt is, how can watch becomes watched? See, I have told you, you know, tense should be changed. In direct speech, simple present tense is there. That should be changed into simple past. That is example number two. Let us see the third example. He said to me, you are a kind person. So friends, third example, he said to me, you are a kind person. Uh, come on, let us change this sentence into indirect speech. He said to me, said to becomes told, said to becomes a told. He becomes he only, said to becomes told. He told, okay, after to me is there. So, after to if they give me, if they give us, if they give him, if they give her or if they give any name that should be written as it is. So, he said to me means he told me. In the place of comma what do you use? That. He told me that. Okay. You are, uh, next second part. You are a kind person. Will you write as it is? No, you should not write as it is. You should change. See. Imagine that one person spoke to you, one person has told you that you are a kind person. Okay, now you are going to give that information in front of me. So, you should say that uh, he told me that I was a kind person. In front of you, he might have told you you are a kind person. While you are passing this information to someone, sir, he told me that okay, I was a kind person. Like this, you should change. Friends, let us see another example. Here the fourth example is they said he writes letters. Come on, without seeing the answer can you change into indirect speech? Come on, try. You can easily change because you have uh, uh, heard three examples. Very slowly I have explained. I hope you can surely change this direct speech into indirect speech. Come on. They said. This is the first part. The first part should be written as it is. They said. No changes. After the first part, what is there? Comma is there. In the in the place of comma, you should write conjunction that is that. Okay. He writes letters. Come on. Before going to change the second part into indirect speech, what should you observe? You should observe the tense. He writes letters. Is it simple present tense or not? Yes, you are right. It is simple present tense. Then simple present tense should be changed into simple past or simple future? Simple past. So, come on, change this sentence into simple past. He writes letters is simple present tense. What is the simple past of this? He wrote letters. Wow, good. That is great. This is the answer. They said that he wrote letters. Okay. Let us see the last example. He said to her, I hate you. So, the last example of present uh, simple present. He said to her, I hate you. Come on, try to change this direct speech into indirect speech. He said to her, he should, the first, I have already told you, the first word should be written as it is. What is the first word of this direct speech? He, whether it is he or she or they are Raju, Rani or Kiran, whatever it is, it should be written as it is. He should be written as it is, that is fine. Okay. Said to, I have told you, said to becomes told. Said to becomes said, told becomes told, said to becomes told. So, said to means told. He told. After to, uh, her is there. Her. So, whatever is given after to, sometimes they may give him, sometimes they may give them. So, whatever is given there, that should be written as it is. So, he told her, after, uh, next comma, in the place of comma, you should use that. I hate you. Is it simple present tense or simple past? I is the subject, hate is the V1. V1 means the first form of the verb. I hate you. Come on, change. Uh, I becomes a he. You may ask, sir, why should we change this I? Why should I becomes he? See friends, just imagine that one boy is speaking to one girl. Imagine here is one boy and one girl. Imagine uh, here one boy is there, one girl is there. Boy name is Kiran, boy, uh, that girl name is Kirti. So in front of Kirti, Kiran said, I hate you. So you heard this matter, right? Now you are going to give this information to me. Uh, come on, tell me, uh, what did uh, Kiran tell to Kirti? Uh, sir, 
now you are giving the information sir uh, kiran said that he hated her see like this you should give no information so i means here who kiran so that's what so that i becomes he but in this sentence kiran is not there he is there so that he should be written as it is so he told her he told her that he hated her for ex here the question is he said to her that becomes he told her i hate you means he hated her so this is the example of the last one so friends like this in the examination they may they will give questions from simple present tense so whenever you see any direct speech sentence from simple present tense this is the process of changing into indirect speech if they give uh, hundred sentences also hundred sentences should be changed into simple past in the indirect speech uh, especially in that inverted commas if you find out any simple present tense sentence that should be changed into simple past next present continuous tense okay now let's learn how to change direct speech sentences into indirect speech from present continuous so friends tense wise we are going to learn we are going to learn in a systematic manner tense wise we are going to learn see uh, you have good idea about present continuous what is present continuous the tense which is used to indicate an action which is going on right now is called as present continuous that's fine in present continuous there are three helping verbs they are am is are and uh, we should use inform in present continuous so you know very well about present continuous so in the examination in the indi in the direct speech uh, in that uh, inverted commas if they give present continuous you should change into past continuous friends please remember in the examination whenever they give any question from present continuous huh, you should change that into past continuous right here come on see see that slide what is the example here he said i am watching tv now he said i am watching tv now for example that person is your neighbor okay so in front of you what what did he say i am watching tv now now i am asking you friends come on tell me just now you have gone to your neighbor's home when you went there what did you talk to him what did he tell you come on tell me now you should tell me no in front of you he spoke one sentence that i am watching tv now that is called a direct speech now you should change this direct speech into indirect speech so he said this is the first part he should be written as it is said also should be written as it is he said in the place of comma we should use he said that uh, i becomes he because we are talking about that person so i should not be written as it is i am watching tv now is it present continuous or not see am is are there ing form is there i am watching tv now so uh, let's change this present continuous into past continuous i becomes he here because we are talking about that person in front of you he said that i am watching tv now that i becomes he so answer is he was watching tv then now becomes then i have also told you the change of the words now becomes then so this is the answer next shall we see the second question that is she said to him she said to him i am waiting for you come on uh, let's change this direct speech into indirect speech she said to him she the first word she should be written as it is said to becomes told she told uh, him him should be written as it is she told him in the place of comma we should use that she told him that uh, what is the sentence in inverted commas i am waiting for you hmm. come on tell me this i should be written as it is or it should be changed no i i becomes she why should i become only she why shouldn't i become he you may ask a doubt like this okay you only should tell whether uh, this i should become he or she who told you that i am waiting for you she told you so that's what i becomes a she she was waiting for him then now becomes a then if they give now we should change into then but in this sentence they did not give now in the first example they have given now in the second example they did not give so if they don't give you should not write 
just what did she tell you i am waiting for you that's all i am waiting for you that's all so answer is uh, she told him that she was waiting for him this is the answer she told him that she was waiting for him next let's see the last example of present continuous they said they said we are writing an exam they means two three members told you they said we are writing an exam come on change into indirect speech they said starting towards should be written as it is they said in the place of comma that they said that so in front of you they said that we are writing an exam that is present continuous so they were writing an exam is the answer Th they said that they were writing an exam so these are the examples of present continuous next uh, present perfect tense in the examination they may give questions from present perfect tense also how can you find out present perfect tense do you have any idea of uh, present perfect tense do you want me to tell you the definition of present perfect tense do you want me to tell you how to find out present perfect tense okay fine very easy friends so present perfect tense what is the definition of present perfect tense the tense which is used to indicate an action which has been completed just now or recently is called as present perfect tense in present perfect tense there are two helping verbs they are have and has and in present perfect tense the main verb must be always in the third form okay so whenever you find out have or has plus uh, the third form of the verb thus that sentence is from present perfect tense so in the examination if they give any question from present perfect tense if they give any direct speech sentence from present perfect tense that should be changed into past perfect don't forget by mistake if you forget by mistake if you don't know in which tense it should be changed you cannot uh, get the right answer so if they give direct speech from simple present tense that should be changed into simple past if they give direct speech from present continuous that should be changed into simple past pr past continuous so simple present tense becomes a simple past present continuous becomes a past continuous present perfect becomes a past perfect tense uh, right you should change the tense here what is the example she said to them she said to them i have taken my lunch imagine just visualize she said to them one lady uh, told that i have taken my lunch now you should change this into indirect speech uh, come on she said to them uh, she should be written as it is said to becomes told she told them okay she told them in the place of comma we should use that okay she told them this is the first part she told them that uh, what is the sentence in inverted commas i have taken my lunch that girl told them i have taken my lunch here i becomes a she i becomes a she she had taken her lunch my becomes her you may ask sir why my becomes her because uh, she told about her lunch so that's what okay my becomes a her so the question is she said to them i have taken my lunch answer is she told them that she had taken her lunch did you understand next let's see the second example they said direct speech sentence is they said comma uh, come on after uh, comma what is there what sentence has been written in inverted commas come on see the slide and tell me what has been written we have written an exam is is it is it there good we have written an exam so they uh, come on let's change they said it should be written as it is they said we have written an exam means we becomes they we becomes they they had written an exam this is present perfect tense no it should be changed into past perfect tense answer is they said that they had written an exam next one more example of present perfect tense he said to me here is one person for example his name is sudhir okay one person just imagine that no one is there in front of me except you only you are listening to me just imagine that in front of me one person is called sudhir is sitting in front of me okay uh, he just imagine that mr sudhir is talking to me he said to me okay the person sudhir is talking to me like this he said to me what did he tell me i have taken your books oh god friends don't feel bored just imagine whatever i am going to tell you <coughs> in front of me who is sitting 
Sudhakar or Sudhir? Sudhakar? No, Sudhir I have told you. I have told you about Sudhir, I did not tell you about Sudhakar. Uh, who is sitting in front of me? Sudhakar. Okay, now a conversation is going on between Sudhakar and A.S. Reddy. That's fine. Come on, you listen to me very clearly. So, in front of me, uh, he is sitting and he is talking. I have taken your books. This person has told me that. Uh, just now I have kept my books here. I started searching for my books. Oh God, who has taken my books like that? I started searching. Mr. Su Sudhir said, Sir, I have taken your books. Oh God, you have taken? See, I have taken your books. He told me like this. Now you are asking, Sir, what did uh, Mr. Sudhakar tell you? You are asking, no? Now I should tell about uh, Sudhir, no? Not Sudhakar, Sudhir, right? So, you are asking what did uh, Sudhir uh, tell you sir? So, now I should tell the answer. Uh, so, he told me that, he told me that he had taken my books. So, in front of me, Mr. Sudhir said your books, your becomes my, because he, he has taken my books. In front of me, he, he told me that sir, I have taken your books, I have taken your books. You are asking me, so that is what I should tell you that. He had taken my books. So, you may ask why he had taken, why not he has taken, what I have told you, tense should be changed, I told you, present perfect tense should be changed into past perfect tense. So, that is what answer is, he told me that he had taken my books. This is something about present perfect tense. Next, present perfect continuous tense. So, friends in the examination sometimes they will give questions from present perfect continuous also. What will you do? If they give direct speech from simple present tense, you have to change into simple past, okay. If they give direct speech from present continuous, that should be changed into past continuous. If they give direct speech from present perfect tense, that should be changed into past perfect tense. If they give a sentence from present perfect continuous tense, what will you do? That should be changed into past perfect continuous tense. So friends, now I am going to tell you how to change direct speech sentences into indirect speech sentences okay, from present perfect to continuous tense. Here is one example. Come on, see the slide. See and tell me what is the example, what is the example number one. Come on, see the slide and tell me. So, we said, oh, come on, we said that is first part. After first part, what is there? Come on, see and tell me. We have been learning English for two months. Oh, oh. we said, we said after we said comma is there, we have been learning English for two months. Okay, come on, I do not tell you, I have already explained very clearly, very slowly. I can say that I have eaten your brain like anything. You only should change this direct speech into indirect speech. Come on, do not see the answer, do not see the answer, okay. Starting word is what, what is the first part in the direct speech? We said, come on, that should be written as it is, we said. In the place of comma, what do you use? That, we said that. Ah. Second part, we have been learning English for two months. That should be written as it is because you are talking about yourselves only. We should be written as it is only. We said that we had been learning English for two months. See, present perfect continuous tense should be changed into past perfect continuous tense. Let us see the second example. Come on, read and tell me what is the second example. Raju said to Rani. Who said to whom? Raju said to Rani. Come on, tell me what did Raju say to Ra what did Raju say to Rani? I have been living in Hyderabad since 1980. So friends, Raju said to Rani, so just imagine he, here Raju is sit, uh, sitting and Rani is sitting. Raju and Rani are talking here, just imagine that. So Raju is telling, I have been living in Hyderabad since 1980. While Raju and Rani are talking, you heard this matter, okay. Now you should pass this information to me. Come on friends tell me, what did Raju tell to uh, that girl, come on what did he tell her? Uh, sir answer is, sir Raju told Rani, Raju told Rani that he had been living in Hyderabad since 1980. See this is present perfect continuous, it should be changed into past perfect continuous tense. What next, what is the next example? Third, what is the third example? Gautami said to Sarita. What did Gautami say to Sarita? I have been working for six months. 
okay here two girls are there who are they one girl name is Gautami and another girl name is Sarita what are these two girls are talking so Gautami is telling that I have been working for six months so while these two girls are talking you heard it come on you tell me what is going on what did Gautami tell Sarita ah, answer is Gautami said to said to becomes told no Gautami told Sarita Gautami told Sarita that okay she had been here she means who either Sarita or Gautami Gautami because she is telling right so Gautami told Sarita that she had been working for six months she had been working for six months this is the answer okay friends next so friends I thank you very much successfully you have completed four tenses with your kind cooperation I am going to tell you the next tense that is simple past tense in the examination they will give direct speech sentences from simple past also what will you do if they give a direct speech sentence from simple past in which tense it should be changed so friends whenever they give any direct speech sentence in the examination from especially simple past that should be changed into past perfect tense if they give simple present tense that should be changed into simple past if they give present continuous that should be changed into past continuous if they give present perfect that should be changed into past perfect if they give present perfect continuous that should be changed into past perfect continuous okay first four tenses have been finished fifth tense is simple past if they give direct speech from simple past you should change that is tense into past perfect tense did you understand good shall we see one example here come on see the slide and tell me what is the example number one come on don't look at me see the slide and uh, tell me read that example what is their example number one she said I purchased a car last year she said I purchased a car last year okay one girl is there and okay beside you one lady is there so you you are speaking to her so she told you that okay she had purchased a car you asked what did you purchase she said she said this matter so now I am asking you come on tell me friends what did you speak to that girl what did that girl tell you sir she said that she said that she had purchased a car the previous year so here last year should be changed into the previous year so words also should be changed okay apart from the tense even the words also should be changed in the in the question if they give yesterday that should be changed into the previous day if they give last week we should write the previous week if they give last Sunday we should write the previous Sunday if they give last month we should write the previous year if they give last year we should change into the previous year so here in the question they have given last year that should be changed into the previous year next let's see the example number two what is example number two I said okay I said comma next second part I met my friends yesterday okay now you are asking me just imagine that I am telling about my friends okay I am telling about my friends ah, come on I said okay I met my friends yesterday ah, so now I am telling you I said answer I said I had met my friends I had met my friends uh, the previous day this is the answer I said that I said that sorry uh, I did not uh, use uh, conjunction after in the place of comma we should use conjunction so I said that I had met my friends uh, the previous day next next example Sanjay said to Sujata I directed a movie last month see just imagine that here two persons are for example wife and husband just imagine that here wife and husband these both are talking here Sanjay and Sujata so Sanjay uh, told that Sanjay said to Sujata I directed a movie last month you heard this matter now you should give this information to me come on friends what did Sanjay tell to Sujata Sanjay told Sujata that he had directed a movie he had directed a movie the previous month this is the answer because that is simple past no 
that should be changed into past perfect. Sanjay told Sujatha that he had directed a movie the previous month. Okay, they have given last month. If they have given last year means that should be changed into the previous year. But they have given here last month. Last month means the previous month. For example, last week, the previous week, yesterday, the previous day. This is something about simple past. Next tense name is past continuous tense. In the examination, sometimes they will give you examples from past continuous tense also. How can you find out a sentence from past continuous? In past continuous, there are two helping verbs. They are was and were. Was and were. So, was were plus ing form should be there in past continuous. Let us see one example. If they give uh, direct speech from past continuous, that should be changed into past perfect continuous tense. Okay? If they give present continuous, that should be changed into past continuous. If they give direct speech from past continuous, that should be changed into past perfect continuous tense. Here is one example. Raghu said to Srinu, okay, I was working in Libya. Raghu said to Srinu, I was working in Libya. Answer, Raghu told Srinu, Raghu told Srinu that, okay, uh, he had been working in Libya. He had been working in Libya. That is the answer. Next example number 2, Raju said to Ramu, Raju said to Ramu, I was doing MPhil. Raju and Ramu, two persons are talking here. Okay? Uh, Raju said to Ramu that I was doing MPhil. Uh, come on, you heard this matter and now you are going to uh, tell me. Come on, what is the answer? Ra Raju told Raghu, I am sorry, Ramu. Raju told Ramu that he had been doing MPhil. He had been doing MPhil. So, friends, in today's class, we have learnt up to past continuous. So, six tenses have been completed successfully. In the next class, let us learn from past perfect tense.